Hello, uh, in this video we are going to um, show you a quick easy way to um, remove the BIOS password on an Acer Aspire 5520. Um, it's fairly easy. You're basically, um, you're basically going to um, take out the CMOS battery uh, temporarily. Um, that's the battery that of course keeps the, the time going when uh, you have it unplugged or, the, or your main battery uh, runs out of juice um, and it's it's fairly easily uh, some, some people um, probably already know that you rem remove the CMOS battery however it's a little bit more difficult to find on uh, this particular model you have to um, actually go under the palm rest um, so just to start off with I went ahead and took off all the covers so that's what you want to do is you want to take your battery out you want to remove the DVD. You want to remove the DVD player. There's a screw here for it. Uh, take that out. Uh, I went. You want to remove your hard drive. There's like three screws here. Um, and then you want to remove all the all the uh, screws from every every hole that you see. And you want to take your time with it. Uh, if you've never done this before, take your time and don't force anything. Um, you're not actually going to have to remove the whole uh, base off. You just really need a little bit of wiggle room so you can reach the, reach the CMOS battery. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn it over here, and um, actually, to remove the uh, the top bezel part where your power cord is um, in the battery compartment, there are about let's see here three there's one two three four five screws that you would already remove anyway and then there's one here and then one here and that'll easily remove the um, the top uh, bezel here and once that's removed you'll see here you want to pull apart on the upper right and it should nicely come off very easily all right, and then your keyboard should flip up, and I'll go ahead and remove that. You'll see here. You want to with these two little. You'll be able to see you can remove that. This thing pops up here. Actually, that lifts up and that pops up and you're going to see about uh, in the screws here below the keyboard you're going to see one two three four I think about four screws and if I see any if you see any others that are popping up go ahead and take that off um, and this should you should see it here it starts coming apart again you don't want to force anything um, or you'll break it especially these acers you know they're cheaply made and they make them like disposable cameras it's ridiculous um, but also too there's going to be where the hard drive is there's going to be some hidden screws like if we remove the hard drive now I'll go ahead and do that you'll see there right below the hard drive there's one two two other screw holes there that you got to remove in, to, in order to get access to below the palm rest. Go ahead and put the hard drive back in. If you got a BIOS password, pretty much that's the one where it's blue. Um, you can't even go into BIOS, you can't go into your hard drive, to your operating system or anything. Um, Alright, so as we do this, you want to get to, you don't really have to take off the whole palm rest here which the palm rest is the whole uh, upper shell um, you want to just get it to where you can have a little bit of leeway where you can reach in there alright if you could see there I'll show you exactly where that sucker's hidden um, and it's like a little watch battery it's right there where my screwdriver is I've already taken it out and I'll show you what it looks like and that's it right there 
and you want to keep it out for you know 10 minutes in order for the computer to reset and if you can see here it goes right back in there below the palm rest here go ahead and stick that in there pops right in there all right so I'll go ahead and plug her up and I'll show you that the this one had a BIOS password in there I received it from a swap meet and as soon as I turned it on I saw the little blue, blue screen pop up password um, and plug her in all right for some reason with my particular model when you power it on it takes like five seconds for the screen to pop on see there all right so press F1 to resume let me go ahead and put my keyboard in here automatically I would already get a an error a BIOS password uh, warning And voila, goes directly to the uh, to the to the window screen where you can you know go into your operating system, and um, that's pretty much all you have to do. You just have to take that little CMOS battery out. Most computers, it's a little bit more accessible, uh, but not on this one. All right, have a good day.